Hello viewers, welcome to my orchid world. A beautiful orchid has grown in my house. This is the Eridais odorata. The blooms are very beautiful, white and a pink uh, slash or spot you can say. You can see it on the screen. The blooms grow pendulously just like the Rhinchostylis retusa and the Rosia. Uh, the blooms are quite fragrant. Uh, but not very long lasting this is a vendicious type orchid i have quite a few number of uh, vendicious orchids in my collection they are all uh, of the same nature they take the same care routine uh, we will discuss about the care routine in a few moments but uh, just we have to see the blooms first you can see how beautiful they are the blooms look uh, the the head like the head of an elephant you can see the petals look like the ears and the labellum looks like the trunk bend upwards the orchid is quite bushy it was mounted on a neem tree in my front yard about eight years ago one of my friends had donated the orchid to me and since then it has grown multiple number of uh, kikis every year say almost I get uh, 10 to 11 kikis uh, per year all of them mature in one year and the next spring they bloom each plant uh, produces at least two spikes and some of them produces even five so you can see how bushy the plant is the blooms all together look very beautiful when they bloom uh, together some of the blooms are yet to bloom some of the buds have still not opened the eridice odorata is a very heat tolerant orchid you can see the leaves are uh, silvery white and very lush green very fresh they are very heat tolerant they can tolerate direct sunlight the odorata in my front yard gets direct sunlight sometimes when it is very hot and we occasionally have to trim down the neem tree and so it gets direct sunlight sometimes but yes it can tolerate the heat it can tolerate the direct sunlight the western side is currently shaded by another tree and right now it is not getting direct sunlight it needs high humidity to bloom well to grow well since I have mounted this orchid on the neem tree, I didn't have to water it uh, even once. It takes moisture from the atmosphere with its aerial roots that are hanging in the uh, air. Some of the roots have uh, attached to the neem tree to hang itself. Since I have always advocated for uh, mounting orchids on trees, you can see the result it has grown so many kikis because it gets the support to hang itself and also more number of spikes and blooms so uh, this is the best method according to me you can also grow this orchid on uh, pots with the uh, coarse growing media you know what are the coarse growing medias this uh, you can use bark chips you can use charcoal pieces you can use uh, brick pieces whichever is uh, very airy which, which uh, allows air to pass through the roots you can also grow it bare rooted I have few rescued odoratas which are growing uh, bare rooted they have not bloomed yet this year I got a total of 15 spikes uh, few of the spikes few of the spikes have not bloomed I have donated few kikis uh, to my friends, to my relatives and hence uh, the bush is uh, not that big uh, as it should have been uh, but nevertheless uh, since I will be getting kikis every year in multiple numbers so I do not have to worry much. Uh, this is an orchid that everyone can grow even the naive orchid growers who have just started collecting orchids. Uh, it is very easy to grow you can mount it you can uh, mount it on wooden slabs or cork slabs also uh, you can grow it in pots you can grow it bare rooted whichever way is convenient for you and hence I believe that uh, growing orchids uh, 
should be uh, popularized among uh, growers among uh, gardeners among uh, flower florists or say even the uh, people who just want to grow um, plants who do not have do not know how where to start uh, yes i uh, do believe that orchids are very easy growing orchids just you need to take care of them you need to keep in mind few things which uh, are the basic needs for orchids uh, for this orchid too for the odorata also the basic needs are high water high humidity and bright light shaded conditions and uh, for species as i always say there is no need to fertilize them this is the orchid which uh, i have told you before i have never watered it since i have mounted it on the neem tree uh, it uh, gets occasional uh, rain uh, during monsoons it gets rain daily which uh, and there is proper air circulation around the orchid since it is in the open and hence the water gets uh, evaporated quickly uh, doesn't get uh, chance to accumulate in the leaves or the blooms uh, since it is in the open there are uh, minor problems like uh, spikes being eaten up by insects or say mites so that is a problem but uh, i think we can overcome it if you take uh, a bit of care so i hope you uh, like the video i hope you are more interested in orchids now uh, even the people who just uh, want to grow orchids uh, but do not know where to start from i think you can just buy a species and try yourself just keep in mind the few uh, the basic things so hope you like the video thank you for watching